माई सेल्फ झा आशुतोष कुमार एंड माई टॉपिक एंड माई टॉपिक इज अल्ट्रासोनोग्राफी एंड मैग्नेटिक रेजोनेस इमेजिंग एंड डिटेक्टिंग टेंडो काइलिस्ट इयर कंपेयर टू पर ऑपरेटिव फाइंडिंग्स Uh, so the introduction the calcis tendon is the thickest tendon in the body connecting the muscle gastrocnemius soleus and plantaris to the calcaneum most a calcis tendon rupture is promptly diagnosed but as the first exam physician may miss up the 20% of this lesion uh, the definition of a uh, may miss 20% of the lesion and according to the time the, the the definition changes for old chronic or neglected rupture is variable the most uh, used time frame is 4 to 10 weeks uh and uh, accordingly trip uh, an according typical chronic rupture occurred 2 to 6 cm above the calcaneal insertion with extensive scar tissue deposition between the retracted tendon stump uh, due to the blood supply into this area is poor so mri has revolutionized the cross sectional imaging of the musculoskeletal system and has become the most widely used technique for and is recommended over uh, and a used technique for widely used technique for a variety of pathological conditions our objective were to correlate mri in usc finding in tendocalis tear and to review which modality offer better sensitivity and specificity so these are the aims and objective basically general objective being to compare the accuracy between mri and usc detecting different types of tendocalis tears uh, the type of study is basically a cross sectional study and the sample size is 47 patients these are the inclusions and exclusion criteria basically all patients undergoing surgery for tendocalis tears are included and uh, Uh, exclusion being uh, open tear of uh, tendocalis claustrophobia critically ill patient and patient not giving consent this is a normal tendocalis tear with the basic normal fibril fibril structure of the tendon uh, this is the de- image detecting complete tear incomplete tear and chronic tears with dense calcification these are various mr image detecting tendocalis torn this uh, the second image is of partial tear tendocalis this is a complete torn tendocalis and we use a quad classification for tendocalis tear this uh, they they have various type 1 to 4 and uh, basically this uh, this is a partial tear complete tear gap less than 3 cm 3 to 6 cm type 3 and complete tear gap greater than 6 cm these are the various results so basically uh, 50 participants who came to the opds were uh, performed this uh, diagnostic accuracy test and these are the result Uh, so according to baseline characteristic as per the age majority of the respondent belong to the 20 to 40 years of age followed by the age group of 40 to 60 year uh, number of male and female participants were almost equal majority of the participants belong to the lower middle class maximum number of the respondent were businessmen by occupation followed by students and uh, 85.11% of the participants reportedly had no relevant medical consumptions medicine no relevant medicine consumptions and these are as per the clinical feature presence or absence that is tenderness of ankle ankle gap felt swelling of the ankle any absence or restricted movements um uh, so the accuracy of usc compared to the gold standard out of uh, 27 participant 27 out of the 47 had been de- detected as a complete tear on usc of which five had been found as incomplete tear on operation which uh, came out to be a sensitivity of 81 specificity of 75 negative predictive value of 81 and a uh, positive predictive value of 81 uh, so accuracy of mri compared to the gold standard is 24 participants out of the 47 had been detected as complete tear on mri of which two had been found as incomplete tear on operations these are the comparison of efficacy of usc and mri in detecting tendocalis tear uh so the result was statistically in uh, so insignificant drawn an inference that both the tests were found to be comparable so usc and mri may be used interchangeably but based on the cost effectiveness maintenance operative feasibility usc is the preferred modality of the choice for detecting and categorizing tendocalis tears and in case of calcification detection usc was found to be more sensitive uh so in this regard uh, so in detection of calcification usc was found to be superior uh uh these are the discussion mri is the mri is the gold standard modality in detection of various type of tendocalis tear according to the most studies but in cost relative time consuming and most not widely available so usc is cost effective widely available and also very efficient for detecting the lesions of the tendon or calcis tear but in our studies not available to clarify which of the above two imaging modalities is accurate to detect tendocalis tear uh so uh, fine they concluded that ultrasound is the useful tool for evaluation of proximal tendon 
complaint however the ultrasound is not sufficiently reliable for the diagnosis of all pathology especially partial rupture of the kylie tendon thus the definitive diagnosis must be established by mri uh, in our study of 47 patient all thom- all were thomson tests positive it was found that the sensitivity and specificity for usg for detecting complete tears of the tendon of kylie's were 81.4 and 75% respectively but for the detection of calcification in chronic tendon of kylie's tear usg was better than mri in both detection rate and false positivity rate these are the conclusion according to the present study usg and mri in detecting uh, usg and mri detecting and categorizing complete and high grade tear of tendon kylie's but as usg is effective and less time consuming it should be imaging modality of choice for detecting and categorizing the tendon kylie's tears uh, these are the various references what we have used for our studies